Yongo Hwa Level Three Power English. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen Cho, and I'm Cameron Word. And happy weekend, everyone, to everyone, to everyone. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you work a regular. Nine to five job, mm-hmm. Monday uh, to Friday. Yeah, Monday to Friday, mm-hmm. right? Though there are a lot of people I know that work on the weekends. Sure, sure, yeah. and we're with you too. <laughs> yeah. um, and if you are working and listening to this, wow, thank you even more. Bonus points for you. Oh my goodness, yeah. you get like brownie points. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, we've got a very particular article today about seniors resisting retiring. Mm. This is interesting. Seniors before, uh, they were not living as long, right? As now, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So when you look at the age of like sixty two or sixty three for retirement, you're thinking some seniors are like, my life is just beginning, <laughs> right? Yes, and yet they have to stop working, right? Yes. Yeah. So here, the seniors, we're not talking about like a school senior, like a the last year of high school. Mm-hmm. We're talking about Older people, 고령자들. Yes, right. So, that's right. 은퇴를 거부하는 고령자들. Okay, right. Mm-hmm. So, um, I know that you would like to retire early, Cameron. Is that true? Kind of. Kind so, of. Not. So, there is a difference in English between retiring mm-hmm. and what people are now calling financial independence. Oh, financial. Oh, very good. Which means you don't have to work mm. if you don't want to. Mm. I just want security. Yeah. <laughs> I don't we, mind working so much. Right. But, you know, I don't want to ha- work a bad job just because I don't have money, right? Exactly. That is kind of, I think, the goal of everybody. Mm. Right? We want financial security. Yes. Yeah. And we want to work because we want to work. Yeah. Not because we have to work. Right, you know, and it is respectable for people that they need money, they need to provide the, they need to provide for their family. Mm-hmm. Totally respectful and honorable, but I think you know, in an ideal world, mm. <laughs> 이상적인 세상에서 mm-hmm. not having to work mm-hmm. but choosing to work would yeah. be the ideal thing. Right. right, mentally, it just makes such a big mm-hmm. difference, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, all right. So here are some expressions that we're going to cover today. If you step Aside from something? To step aside, it kind of means to retire, to stop doing, to withdraw, to not be in that position anymore. Okay. Fast paced. Yeah, this is one word with a hyphen in the middle. Mm -hmm. It means to go very fast, rapid, nonstop. So the pace is very fast. Mm -hmm. Um, Crash and burn. (laughs) This means that you fail, but you fail in a big way. Right. Completely fail. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's see how it's used in the article today. Some people are ready to retire at 65, while others never want to step aside from their role at work. Scientists have wondered what makes some people more reluctant to leave their fast-paced job even when they can no longer keep up or they become forgetful. This happens in all jobs at all levels. For instance, many professional athletes continue playing until they eventually crash and burn. Instead of leaving while they were still effective players, they are remembered as the old guy who refused to retire. The simple reason for this phenomenon, according to researchers, is pride. Okay, let's take a look at this article. Some seniors resist retiring. Some people are ready to retire at 65, while others never want to step aside from their role at work. Okay, 65, retire, but some people, they don't want to stop. Yes. And this expression, step aside from their work or their role at work. What is what does this mean to step aside? Actually, you know, you hear this sometimes like mm-hmm. at the airport. Uh ma'am, could you step aside? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Right? So in this context, obviously, it's a little bit figurative. It is a little different, right? Yeah. So there is that kind of like get out of the way. Get out of the way. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. But here Kind of in the same way, Mm. you were doing a job, you were doing some action, Mm. and they're saying, hey, 
Stop doing that.、Mm -hmm. Let someone else do it. Right. So if you're the president of a company、mm -hmm. and you step aside,、mm -hmm. maybe you let someone younger now run the company. That's interesting. So it's not just a matter of like just stopping it and just like okay, I quit. But it's kind of like giving room.、Mm -hmm. For someone else to take your place. Yes.、Mm. Well, because in a company or maybe you own the business that、yeah. you are running,、mm -hmm. if you're doing the work, someone else can't do it, right? Right. You're in that position,、mm -hmm. so to step aside means get out of that position,、mm -hmm. so someone else can fill it. Yeah, it's like get out of the way,、mm. <laughs> so someone else can come in. Yes. Okay. All right.、Um, so they don't want to step aside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just a fancy way of saying they want to continue working. Yes. Okay. Scientists have wondered what makes some people more reluctant to leave their fast-paced job, even when they can do, even when they can no longer keep up, or they become forgetful. Okay. So we're talking about regular full-time jobs. Yes. Okay. And these are fast-paced. Jobs.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are not just your ordinary part-time jobs; these are like intense jobs. Right. If you think of like、mm. Wall Street with the stockbrokers, yes, I, they're、yeah. on that floor like yelling. Right. Although I've heard they don't do that anymore. Really? Like everything's electronic, so they don't have to yell on the、oh. floor anymore. Ah.、Uh, but those fast jobs、mm. where you're just constantly going, going, going,、mm. or I don't know. Even if you're in like a fast food restaurant,、mm -hmm. like at lunchtime, oh yeah, when it's just like go fast, go. fast.、Mm -hmm. That is a fast-paced work environment as well, right? Right. So all of these things that are you're having to move quickly, you're having to react quickly.、Mm -hmm. That would be considered a fast-paced job. Okay. So obviously, this is an adjective, and we've learned about pacing ourselves, or the word pace,、mm -hmm. meaning like a certain speed. Yes. So fast-paced. It's very speedy.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so now here are some other words.、Uh, why some people are more reluctant? R e l u c t a n t. If you are reluctant to do something, it means you don't really want to do it. You're like,、mm, I don't know. Kobu ga minin go jo. That's right. It's like, ah, uh huh. It, I really don't like this. Okay. <laughs> That's a good idea. You know, whenever、uh, you like、uh, try and get a dog、uh -huh. to take a bath, yeah, some dogs love baths,、mm -hmm. but other my dog, he hates getting wet. Honey, my dog, he's not reluctant. He just hates it. He just oh yeah. See, my dog Simba, he won't say no completely. He、mm -hmm. won't run away.、Mm -hmm. But as I'm pulling him to the shower, he's like, ooh, I don't, <laughs> eh, I don't know, no.、Mm. Like it's not a full out no, but he is reluctant. He is definitely showing he doesn't want to do it. Right, right.、Yeah. So it's like, oh, it's like that sort of,、uh, how shall I say? You're kind of forced into it. Right,、uh -huh. right.、Mm -hmm. Okay. So they are.、Uh, they don't want to leave their job even when they can no longer. Yes. Keep up or become forgetful. So even when is our power. Pattern. Yes, we often use this whenever a situation becomes surprising or even unreasonable. You don't understand the reason anymore. So, just because someone old is、uh -huh. old doesn't、mm. mean they can't do their job. There、right. are many still quick, still、mm. witty, still、mm -hmm. very intelligent older people,、mm -hmm. right? However, some people can no longer do their job. Keep up the pace. They can't go that fast. They can't go that、mm -hmm. fast, and they know it. But even when、uh -huh. they know they can't do their job, they still they still try to do it. Ah, and even when they're forgetful. Yes. Interesting. So they are, they're showing the conditions for why maybe they aren't good for that job anymore.、Mm. But even when you're kind of stressing, okay, now the condition is. Unreasonable.、Mm -hmm. It's too much,、mm -hmm. but they are still reluctant. Right. That's interesting. Mm. Mm. Let's see what's going on.、Uh, this happens in all jobs at all levels. Okay, so this is not just about corporate jobs. These are all jobs. Yes. Okay. For instance, many professional athletes continue playing until they eventually crash and burn.、Mm. Yeah. So athletes have a hard time retiring. Yes. 
And even <laughs> eventually, they crash and burn. Yes. So crash and burn, you can think of an actual vehicle, like a car mm -hmm. that crashes, mm. and then it doesn't just stop running, it explodes. <laughs> like a fire develops, right. and the car is completely destroyed. This phrase is used when you fail, we would say, spectacularly. <laughs> you don't just fail, but you fail in a big way that everyone can see. Mm. And a good example here with professional athletes, you might think of something like boxers mm. or now you have i think it's the ufc the, the fighting yes. athletes right mm -hmm. there are a few years that they're at the top of the sport and if they retired there everyone's memory would be good yeah but usually they say no i can still fight right. i still got it and there's one match where they lose very, very badly. That's right. They crash and burn in the arena, and that's when they're finally like, okay, oh, okay. my career's over. Okay. Yeah. You see, that's why instead of leaving while they are still effective players, they are remembered as the old guy who refused to tire. The simple reason for this phenomena, according to research, is pride. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the people, because of yeah. They are finding it hard to let go of their jobs. So uh, that's why they resist retiring. Let's go ahead and listen to that one more time. Some people are ready to retire at 65, while others never want to step aside from their role at work. Scientists have wondered what makes some people more reluctant to leave their fast-paced job even when they can no longer keep up or they become forgetful. This happens in all jobs at all levels. For instance, many professional athletes continue playing until they eventually crash and burn. Instead of leaving while they were still effective players, they are remembered as the old guy who refused to retire. The simple reason for this phenomenon, according to researchers, is pride. It's time for Power Note. We're on pages 52 and 53. Let's get some more examples with these expressions. If you step aside from something, you are kind of like withdrawing or retiring from a position. Yes. Okay. Do you think Max will step aside from his job now? It will take more than a health scare to get him to quit. Okay. So if you step aside from something, it's not so much like, I quit. You know, it's kind of like, okay, I think it's enough for me. Yeah, I think I've done enough. Or I think I, I've, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. Right. Mike stepped aside when he was sure his son was ready to take over. Mm. Oftentimes, the transition of power or transition of like duties. Right. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. So we can talk about it like in this example with a family business. Mm. You can talk about it in politics. Mm. Like in democracy, mm. whenever a new president or prime minister is voted in, right. the old one steps aside. Steps aside. They let the new person who was recently elected mm -hmm. now take over the job. Yeah. So oftentimes when you're in a position, you step aside so that someone else can take your place. Mm -hmm. It could be because you're old, you, you know, or it could be you're sick or that you're just, you know, not capable. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it can be good reasons or bad, good reasons. It can be like bad reasons, like you did something bad. Mm -hmm. It could just be because you're tired. You're tired. I'm ready. I'm, I'm done. Yeah, right. I want to rest. I know. <laughs> All right. When something is fast paced, it's one word. It's like nonstop. It's very fast. It's like, it just doesn't stop. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. How did you like the mystery novel? It was such a fast-paced story. I could hardly put it down. Mm. So a novel can be very fast-paced. Yes. Right? There's no boring moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The fast-paced city causes me a lot of anxiety. Oh, yeah. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I'm from the country. Yeah. So I'm very I'm used to a very slow paced style of living. And it's so interesting that someone who's from a small town mm -hmm. and then you go to places like big, 
you know, really fast Asian cities, you know? Oh, yeah. Paced Asian cities. Right. Well, I've lived in East Asian cities. I've lived in Seoul. Uh-huh. I've lived in Osaka. Uh-huh. I've lived in Shanghai. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and all it took when I lived in the country, oh. I thought I wanted a fast paced life. Yes. When you're young, of course, sure. you dream of the big city. Right. And then I got to him and I realized, nope. I like the slow-paced life of the country. And that's good. Mm. There's the fast-paced. There's also the slow-paced. And so a lot of uh, people who retire actually move to the countryside Mm -hmm. so that they can have a slow-paced life. So true. Yeah. You know what? It's so weird. I remember... Like, when I lived in the country, so much time after work or school. Yeah. But in a fast-paced place, like Mm. the city, Mm. I feel like as soon as I get home, it's bedtime. (laughs) You know? (laughs) It's so fast-paced. It's like, where did my day go? It's bedtime. you got to go right to bed. I have no time for hobbies. (laughs) (laughs) All right. When you crash and burn, Cameron. Yes. How different is that or how similar is that to burnout? Uh, It's very similar. So burnout is just where you work really hard Mm -hmm. and emotionally you just have nothing left. You have no energy. Crash and burn is talking about failure. Okay. You tried to do something and boom, it blew up in your face. Got it. Okay. Let's look at some examples. How did your presentation go today? Terrible. I crashed and burned in front of the CEO. Oh my goodness. Of all people. You completely ruined your reputation with the CEO. If you don't get some sleep, you're going to crash and burn on your test tomorrow. (sighs) So as you can see, like you just mentioned, a test, a presentation, Mm -hmm. you know, there's something and you miserably failed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's crashing and burning. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Our power pattern today is even when. Yes. And with the stress on even. Yes. Even. Even when. Okay. He practices soccer even when he is sick or injured. He should rest, yeah. but he doesn't. No. My dad wore a suit and tie every day even when he was retired. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm not wearing a suit and tie ever again. If, like, if it's not for work, when I retire, I'm going to be in pajamas You're every gonna... day. <laughs> this reminds me of the movie The Intern. With Robert De Niro yeah. wearing suits. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Anne Hathaway, they're in like right. a new millennial startup. Right, right, right. And no one wears the suit and tie. Yeah, you're the new millennial. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you can say new now. Okay. It's all Gen Z and Gen Alpha. All right. Our power vocab today is the word reluctant, which means that you're uh, unwilling or not eager to do something. Yeah. Do check out the definition on page 54. And what else should we do? Please go to Udio Hakdang. Pay a small monthly fee where you can enjoy this show and many other great EBS programs. All right. Thank you 